Howdy. Good morning. Yes, it's still morning. It's not even 11 o'clock. I am just about done everything at work for the day. Uh, sorry about the reflection over here. Lighting's a little weird. I think I've got a different angle going on than I usually do over here. Let me see if I can change it. We'll do that. That works better. Um, yeah, I'm just entering in some shipping. Last three orders that I just got in from UPS. This is wonky. There we go. Um, and then I'm going to head home because I have an appointment this afternoon that I need to get to. Also, I'm having some packages delivered to the house today. Doesn't really matter. Well, one of them I need to sign for. So if I'm not there, I'm going to have to go with the notice over to FedEx tonight, which will be a pain in the butt. But hey, if it happens, it happens. And then last night, I had ordered some stuff from Amazon for uh, same day delivery. Vanessa and I were out. We went out last night. Uh, I bought some clothes at JCPenney that I've been talking about getting. So I did that. And while we were out, got the notification that my package was delivered. Got home, there was nothing there. So either somebody took it, or they never delivered it, or they delivered it to the wrong house. So I was kind of bummed about that. Uh, but as I said, uh, I've got an appointment this afternoon. I'm going to enter this shipping. I'm going to go home. I'm going to work on yesterday's vlog because I didn't edit that last night because we were out late. Oh. This whole thing is going to be jam-packed full of stuff this week before I leave for New York next week. But hey, that's what I wanted. I wanted excitement. I wanted things to do, and that's what I'm going to be doing. Things. Stuff. I can actually sing along to. I'm not the greatest singer. Maybe someday though. Getting on the freeway. Stuck behind this truck. Willow. What you waiting for? I know what she wants. Huh? What do you want? I'll get it for you in a second. <laughs> She's hungry, she wants her lunch. But I just got a package. I was hoping I'd be home when they went to deliver it because I didn't want to have to take the notice and go. I already said that, I told you about that. So here's my package, it's right here. And here's all the clothes I bought yesterday. I need to wash all those, but let me uh, get stuff out of this package here. I've got four things in here. They're all four. The Osmo. This is a quick release microphone holder, which goes onto the phone holder, which I really wanted. Not too expensive. Glad I picked that up. Uh, and then I got this thing. This box here, which is a base, which you can stick the Osmo in and then you can sit it on a desk or wherever. And then I kind of went all out on these next two pieces. Um, <clears throat> I wasn't sure whether I wanted to get these or not, and I hummed and hawed for months, really. And then I finally thought, you know what, I'm going to get them. Ugh, let me see, let me hold them here for you. There we go. I'm getting in one hand these two pieces right here. The extension rod, this one, and then over here the tripod. And they go together, and they make the tripod. Um, can't really use the tripod portion without the extension rod and the extension rod I guess you could use it as a selfie stick but you can't use it as a tripod without the tripod attachment and I think the tripod also works with the base so the tripod will screw into the base and then you can stick the Osmo in the base so all in all good investment I think uh, there's a I think like two more accessories that I want to buy. One of them isn't available right now. I wanted to get the Z axis. Um, but they're talking 30 to 40 days for delivery on that one. Oh well. I'll wait. Maybe I'll just stop by B&H Photo while I'm in New York and see if they have it in stock. 
Puppies, would you like some lunch? Are you hungry? Now Willow's pretending she's not hungry. Willow, are you hungry? You want food? You want food? Lucy, you want food? Okay. I feel as though I've really stepped up the game as far as this uh, selfie stick goes. May as well call it what it is. No, I won't. It's an extension pole. That's what it is. That's what it's labeled as. So that's what I'm calling it. It's an extension pole. Look, look how far it is away from me. And that's not even extended. So this is actually for the Osmo, this extension stick. But I can also use it for my G7X, for the regular vlogging camera. I suppose I could throw a GoPro on there too. This is like selfie stick on steroids, so that's why it's called extension pole. It's not a stick, it's a pole. Puppies, you gotta come inside now. I have to leave. I'm going to the car dealership. I'm going for a 30,000 mile service, so that means oil change, tire rotation, and like inspect all the joints and the brakes, CB joints I think, brakes, a bunch of other stuff. Fun times. So now I play a little bit of a waiting game. It's been 45 minutes though, so it shouldn't be too bad. Getting the oil change, tire rotation, and checking everything else. But as far as I know, everything is good, so no big deal. Let's see if I can get yesterday's vlog edited in 45 minutes. I don't know if I'll get it posted, but probably when I get home. But I think I can get the edit done. How awesome am I? I just edited this vlog in record time. That's just the last little bit, last final clip. And I'll just add a title and an outro. And I think I even have time to render it out. Good news. All done with the oil change, tire rotation, all of that stuff. No surprises. I did change the cabin air filter though. Look, I'm finally in focus. Now I'm here, taking the car to the spa. Jojo's real dirty. There's a gun here, let me see if I can do anything with it. That's fun. I can spare the car. That's awesome. Do it one more time. No. Too far gone. That was fun. Well, Jojo came through the wash okay. She's just sitting over there. She already had her vacuum done before she went in for the wash. They're going to rub her down and dry her and get all, rid of all the spots. And then I think they're gonna do like a rub down on the inside too. A light protectant or something like that. Not like a total detail, but just a, a good clean. A vacuum, a dust. Works for me. Look how shiny she's getting. Tires and everything. All done at the spa, and unfortunately, I have to stop at Costco. But it's not like it was when I stopped here uh, before Memorial Day. It doesn't look too busy at all. It's just going to be a quick in and out. I'm not going to look for anything or any of that stuff, just to the pharmacy and back. Uh, but look at the job they did on JoJo. Like, check this out. No more dusty dash, no more dusty console, all cleaned out. And check out the outside. Nice and shiny. Shiny wheels and tires. No more bugs all over the front. They really did quite a good job. They scrubbed it like twice to get all the bugs off. 
and windshield all clean. Eh, they didn't get some of that stuff on the inside, but that's okay. I'm totally happy with the job they did. It's a really hot day and Jojo was really dirty. Let's get a good shot of her. Don't get run over, Patrick. There she is, all shiny and new looking again. But, unfortunately, with being clean now, you can really see these dents. I'm gonna have to see if I can pop them out a little bit or something. Get one of those as seen on TV dent kits. And I might be able to get this one out, but maybe not that one. Would you look at how clean that windshield is? It's amazing. I can actually see out of it. Guess what? Costco didn't have my prescription. I called it in Thursday, I think. No, Wednesday. Called it in Wednesday, so it should have been ready by Friday. I gave it through the weekend because part of it was I just couldn't get there. And another part of it was to just give them lots of time. It wasn't there, it wasn't ready. I've had such good luck lately with the doctor refilling my prescription when needed. And this time, no dice. The pharmacy says they've uh, faxed them numerous times and had no answer. Inconceivable! Quick stop on the way home. Uh, Vanessa feels like steak tonight. And as usual, we don't have any groceries at home. So I am out here at this new place called Natural Grocers. Uh, I think they're out of Colorado. And this is the old Fresh and Easy location, or one of the old ones. This is the one that I went to last when they were clearing everything out. And I almost cried when I left, or I may have actually cried a little. I really liked Fresh and Easy, but I'm gonna give this place a try. We've been going to Sprouts all the time, but since this is new, we'll give it a shot, see what's going on. Ooh, bagless checkout. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I have a bag. It might even, no, it might be a Sprouts bag or it might even be a Fresh and Easy bag. Let's go check. That's one thing about this place. They do not have bags at all. You have to bring your own. Looks like it was wrong on both counts. It's a Trader Joe's bag, but at least I have one. It's a good thing, or I'd be carrying everything all out in my pockets and in my hands. <sighs> Up until 9.04. Right, sir. Good. Want that? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Perfect fit. Okay. That's super weird walking in here and having it be totally different. Totally different decor, layout, everything. Mind blowing. Well, I'm, uh, I've never been here before. I don't know what to expect, so I'm gonna have a quick walk, walk around. Well, they got all this like bulk stuff in refrigerators, which is weird. And then they have all of this stuff not in refrigerators. What's the difference? I don't know. I don't even know if they have meat, so I'm gonna have a look. Okay, I don't know about this place. They don't really... Well, they've got meat, but I'll show you that in a second. What they do have, though, is all kinds of homeopathic stuff. Hi, good. What they do have is all kinds of homeopathic stuff, and vitamins, and minerals, and supplements, and... But they had this one section here. Okay. Here's the extent of the meat section. Deli meats and this prepackaged stuff. There you go. It's safe. All organic, grass-fed, 
and it's $16.99 for a New York strip. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, I couldn't do it. I wanted to. I really did. I wanted to like that place. I suppose it serves its purpose, and I'm sure people will go crazy in there. Um, I just can't do it. They, uh, they're way too expensive. And they don't have the selection I want. And that meat, man, it was from like New York. Like some organic grass-fed beef from New York. I know I can get better here. I know I can get grass-fed from Sprouts. And I know it won't cost $16.99 for a 10 ounce steak. Well, that was a bit of a whirlwind of an afternoon. <sighs> Car all spawed up. Well, first serviced, then cleaned, then a stop at Costco, then a stop at that natural grocer's place, which didn't work out. Then a stop at Sprouts, which did work out. Got some wonderful looking New York steaks. They weren't cheap either, but nowhere near as expensive. And I did get the grass fed, so awesome there. And I got home and a package was waiting for me. These ones, these are exciting. Uh, I ordered these. The all black Converse. Chuck Taylor All-Star 2s with the nice cushy lining. That's what I've been wearing. I've been wearing a pair of gray ones. But I wanted to get these all black ones. Because they look cool. Well, they look hot, but they look cool. And uh, I'm going to wear these around for a few days. And if they work out, I'm going to take those to New York City with me. Along with my hiking shoes. Because I know those are super comfortable. So if my feet get sore wearing these, I can wear my hiking shoes. But those... Uh, those other ones that I've been wearing are super comfortable. I can walk for miles in those, so I'm hoping these will be the same. Oh, I'm tired. It's so hot out there. Like, really. Ridiculous. Yay, Vanessa's home. She's out in the backyard grilling, because we're grilling. And I've got this huge pile of clothes I gotta take all of these tags off of and wash and I'm just gonna go right ahead and pack them right now and then I've got uh, some dinner to help make right now I've got this going on over here we've got shishito peppers if you've never had these look them up find them roast some up and eat them because they're awesome and then here I got some squash some baby squash mix I got some zucchini some other assorted squash and we got some mushrooms here that we're gonna saute up so I got a pan here for peppers for squash and for mushrooms Vanessa's steak is here it still needs to be cooked Vanessa's doing the cooking of the steaks and out here we have Lucy and Willow they're loving it outside right now it's actually kind of cooling off tonight and over here in the grill, Vanessa brought her steak out. We got my steak on there, it's looking good, and a couple of baked potatoes. My steak goes on way before Vanessa's steak because mine needs to be well, well done. I don't like the pink, I don't like the juicy. Well, some juicy is okay. Vanessa likes hers medium well? Medium to medium well. Medium to medium well. My brother used to eat his steak just about like that. It'd be throw it on the grill, flip it over, pull it off, and it's done. I think that's it for today, though. Um, we're just going to finish grilling up this stuff. As soon as Vanessa's steak goes on, I go in to do all the vegetables, and then we'll be eating. Maybe watching some TV, Game of Thrones, maybe, catch up on the latest episode. We'll see what happens. And then on to Wednesday. This week is, in one sense it's going slow, in another sense it's like flying by. As, as of tomorrow, a week and I'll be in New York. It's crazy. So I still got a couple things to take care of. I gotta remember that. Uh, but even if I don't, I could go the way I am right now, I think. 
we'll see what happens. All right, we will see you tomorrow, right, Vanessa? Yep. Until then, peace, love, and I'll see you out on the trail or out in the backyard grilling.